Will PT only one best man versus six bridesmaids in my wedding party? Here's why I recommend it. Hey LPT. My wife-to-be had a posse of bridesmaids and actually worked hard to get the number on her side. Down to six. While I was sitting back. Pondering how to muster up six groomsmen to match. But seriously. Why? It's not me. I've got my best friend for the past 20 years. Who else do I need? My fiancé fought me on this for a while but gave up when she learned I was serious. 1. No fill-ins I wasn't about to throw guys into the mix just to hit a number. They're distant friends. Not photo props. 2. Long-term loyalty people change. Friendships shift. But not my best man. I only wanted guys in my wedding that will be in my life in 10-20 more years. 3. Budget flights. Suit rentals all that stuff adds up. Why blow unnecessary cash or ask them to? 4. It's funny and a cool visual reflection of our unique personalities. Me the quiet introvert with one great friend and my wife the extrovert with her whole gaggle. My best man walked each bridesmaid down the aisle one at a time and we played it up with. Hydration break included. Crowd loved it. We had a blast. TLTR. Here's the deal it's your wedding. Forget matching numbers. Keep it genuine. It's about celebrating love. And that includes friendships. To all you future grooms out there your day. Your rules. I chose one best man. And honestly. It was the best decision I ever made. Good idea with the multiple walks. Only one best man versus six bridesmaids. I know men in general are stronger of course but that's still not a fair fight. Good on ya you hit the nail right on the head it's your wedding. Do whatever the F you and your partner want to do. It's your day. The memories you'll have will be filled with love and laughs and enjoyment instead of regrets and disappointment. The best weddings I've ever been to are incredibly personal like this. Recommend 100. This is the most common tradition in the UK. Bridesmaids and a single best man. Quality over quantity. You don't even need a wedding party. When my brother got married, one of the groomsmen had to drop out last minute. They just had another groomsman escort two bridesmaids at the same time. It was cute. Agreed a wedding ceremony is the newlyweds day there should be no set rules. Only suggested guidelines. I chose one best man. And honestly, it was the best decision I ever made. So your best decision wasn't who you chose to marry. Not really a LPT in my opinion. It's what works for you though. Also his chances of getting some with the bridesmaids went up significantly. You are his best friend and wingman. This was 100 my wedding. My husband is shy. I am extremely outgoing. We each had our closest friends. Which meant several bridesmaids and one groomsman. It was great nobody cared we each had the people closest to us in the wedding party. We hit 20 years last year. So I can attest it works out. I actually had one of our girlfriends be on my side. She wore the matching groomsmen's shirts and pants we didn't use suits just button up and pants. May I joke a little? I read till the end. And I do hope this wasn't the best decision you ever made. This is a brag and justification of your decision, not a LPT. My best man walked each bridesmaid down the aisle one at a time and we played it up with. Hydration break included. Damn. 
That's a great idea. I had the opposite problem. Too many friends on my side. Not enough on hers. Ended up cutting it down to my three oldest ones. But looking back, I should have just had all my best bros in the party. I'm sure they would have walked each other down the aisle. If given the opportunity. If it works for you. Go for it. But that's more the lesson here. Be as weird as you want. But realize where the line of being so weird that it confuses or potentially alienates your community is before you decide to cross it. And that line is quite a bit farther away than most people think. Honestly, it was the best decision I ever made. Hopefully, marrying your wife is up close to the top somewhere cold sweat smile. If this was the best decision you've ever made I think you need to get out more lol. Seems like the real recommendation is personalize weddings for yourself. Why would this exact scenario make sense for a person you don't know? We did no groomsmen and bridesmaids for one of the reasons you stated. We didn't want to waste the money or someone's time. Plus. The ceremony is really about two people. After that, it's party time. I also went with one best man for the bridal party. Best decision ever got to really focus on the wedding but also had support from someone who actually wants to help. I also thought the whole tradition of a bridal party was weird. What do my closest 4-7 guy friends have to do with me getting married? I have no idea what OP is talking about. I feel like I forgot to read the 300-page wedding rule book. It's okay to not have six close friends. There's no need to make a whole post justifying it. Dumbest LPT ever. What the fuck is with this sub lol? Oh I have a best friend. So you all should just take one best man only. I'm all with you. Make rituals fit you. Don't conform. 3. Can't recommend eloping enough. OMG. Hydration break. I would have died laughing. People do otherwise. My wife had who she wanted 5 I think and I opted for no one. Fairly simple. Or. Oh, no best man or bridesmaids. It's your fucking wedding, not theirs. Yes, this. Nobody else's opinion matters. It's your own wedding. You do whatever works. He could have been a Mormon groomsman and walked them all at once. We were actually told it's not our wedding. But it's for the guests and stuff. We ended up doing whatever we wanted with some consideration. Kept everything really low cost but nice. And got rid of everything no one cares about. Like the speeches. The garter belt. The bouquet toss. It was just eat. Drink. And be merry. LPT there are no rules for weddings. Do whatever you want. You're coping pretty hard. Op. It usually is not hard to fill in. The bride usually have a brother or two and best bridesmaid boyfriend. Etc. Here is a life pro tip. Don't fight your future wife on the wedding. It is her day. If it is really no big deal and doesn't affect you. Let it go. Nice I bet it made for a more memorable night. I had two bridesmaids and hubby had three groomsmen. We gave no shits about having the same number of each. We just wanted our closest people in the bridal party. I believe you only need a bridesmaid and a bestman. The rest are unnecessary. We had no bridesmaids or groomsmen at our wedding. It was a smaller wedding and we never had an issue. It was perfect. Our wedding planning may love this too also. It's your wedding. It's about celebrating love. Is it? Imo. It's about telling the whole world this man-woman is mine now everyone must watch how happy I am.
and clap.